hello and welcome back to the channel so if you haven't subscribed make sure to subscribe if you have questions or any feedback make sure to leave those in the comment section below if you know of anyone who will benefit from this video make sure to share but without further ado let us just go straight into the video so in today's video we're going to show you how you can convert a .esd file to a .wrm file and the reason why we want to do that because we want to use the WRM file in the deployment of Windows 10 via Windows deployment services. And that will be done in our next video. So this video is like a part one to the next video. So make sure to watch the video from beginning to end because every step will be very important to set you up for success in our very next video. So to begin today's video, I will go to the menu of my VMware. I will go to the VM menu and then I'll come to settings and click on settings. I will click on CD slash DVD and then I will go to ISO, use ISO image and I will click on browse. When I click on browse, I will go to my download folder and I have a download folder here called KLA downloads. So I will double click that to open and I'm going to pick my Windows 10 image. So I will click on open and that will connect my Windows 10 image to my virtual machine. So I will click on OK. And now I have connected my image. So as you can see, a little pop-up shows us down here that the image has been connected. So I'm just going to click on the File Explorer. And then when the File Explorer opens, I want to go to my DVD. And I want to go to this folder called Sources. So I will expand this window. I will click on one file. I will press the letter B. When we are setting up our Windows deployment services, there are two files that are needed. We need the boot.wimp file. So it is already here on this DVD in sources. So I will press R to go down to install. So this is the file that we need. However, we need to convert this file to a .wim file. So the first thing I want to do here is just to right click this file and copy it. And then I can come to my desktop, right click, go to new, create a folder. I can just name this folder WIM. So I will double click this folder and I'm going to paste this file in the folder. So I will allow that to copy. And then once I come back, I will proceed with the next step. Now that this has successfully copied to this folder, what I want to do is to click in a search and type CMD for command. So you need to run the command as an administrator. So I will right click on command and click on run as administrator. So the command line will open as administrator. So I will double click it to make it big. I will go up on the title bar here, right click on it, come to properties. I will come to font. I just want to increase the font size so that it is visible for you. So I will click on 28, click OK. Now that I've done that, the next thing I want to do is to just switch to my desktop. So what I will do is to just type DIR so that it can display the content of this directory. So there is a folder here called desktop. So I'm just going to do CD desktop. I'll press tab to complete the command and press enter. And then when I do DIR, I will see the folder that I created at WIM. So I want to switch to that. So I will use the same CD command, change directory, WIM, press enter. And then if I do DIR to display the content of the directory. So when, when I press enter, we can see our install.esd file. So now that we are in the folder where the file exists, the next thing we want to run or query against the file to get some information. So we begin by doing the dsm command space forward slash get when sorry when info and we say WIM file colon 
and I will put the name of the file install.esd and press enter. So this will return some information about the install.esd file that we are viewing. And what you will notice is that there are various versions of Windows 10. So the Windows 10 version that we want to deploy is Windows 10 Professional or Windows 10 Pro. So pay attention to the index number for that. So the index number there is number six. So we want to keep that in mind because we're going to use that to do the conversion. So now the next thing to do is to do this in space export, sorry, forward slash export, half in image, space, forward slash, source, image, file, put colon, put the name of the file, install.esd, space, forward slash, source, index so hold on our index was six for windows 10 pro after we put the index number the next thing we want to do is forward slash destination image file hold on and now we're just going to name it install.win and then we want to compress it. So we will say compress. And we want to use maximum compress. So we'll say colon max space. And then we want to check the integrity. As once we do that, then we press enter. So right there, the command has started to export. So it is exporting the image while at the same time converting it from .esd to a .wim. So I will pause the video. I will allow it to convert. And once that is successfully converted, then we will proceed to the next step. All right, as you can see, the operation completed successfully. So we have successfully converted our .esd image to .wim image. So we will just go over to our file explorer and go to that win folder that we created on the desktop. So as you can see, below is the converted image install.wim. So in the next video, we will use this install.wim to create the installation for deploying Windows 10, our network, using Windows deployment service. So this brings our end to this video. Make sure to watch the next video for how we will use this file to configure Windows deployment service to deploy Windows 10 across our network. Again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video if you like it. Share it with someone who will find it useful. Make sure to leave a comment if you have question or if you just have feedback for us. Make sure to leave those in the comment section below. But without further ado, take care and I will see you in the next video. Bye.